What's up, guys? This is the Rifleman, and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the as the Emp Empire of Mysore. Let's pick up, pick up where we left off. We have begun our invasion of the Caribbean and to expand our colonial holdings. And we are going to attack the uh, Dutch settlement here at Punda. Although actually, we have been inter intercepted by the Dutch. Uh, however, the outcome will be the same: the destruction of all of their peoples and their way of life here on this island. Let's take them out. <laughs> So the value of Punda, apologies for that, is that we have a territory, well, we have a village which we can demolish and re replace with a madrasa to help generate uh, Islamic scholars to help us uh, convert the peoples of this region, of this world, to the true faith, because there is no Islamic faith anywhere in this on this continent yet. So deploy my guns behind me on the hill. Deploy my infantry line. Deploy my melee line. Ooh, miss the Siege Musketeer unit. There we go. Deploy my melee line behind that. A very, very multicultural army this is. <laughs> Gurkhas, Hindus, Dervishes, and Sikh melee troops. Ooh, more Dervishes. Then our cavalry, and our war elephant component here. Actually, I missed a gun. The enemy being reinforced from directly behind them. Actually, what I want to do is take Gurkhas, push them out to the flank, Dervishes, push them out to the flank. The rest of my melee line take positions behind my musket line to provide support. Cavalry and elephants push hard up one flank. So my lancers. Hindu musketeers leading the way, Sikh musketeers backing them up. My artillery is doing a real number on the enemy. Looks like we will make it to our jumping off point. Push the flank. Come on, cavalry, I see you. Clone your light, clone your light. Devastating volleys at close range. Yep, you're coming in, so deploy square. Counter charge with my dervishes. That's where the reinforcements are coming in, isn't it? Once the 25th Regiment, West East India Company, West India Company, West India Company infantry has fallen. Commit to the melee engagement here. Those <clears throat> those dervishes are actually in a bit of trouble. Against cavalry, they are a bit isolated. But there we go. We're going to push through, push through our own lines here.
Can you do musketeers? With bomb square. Yeah, dervishes didn't like that idea. Fair play to them. Gunners engage that combat. Hindu warriors continue the charge. As will my Sikh warriors. Because my infantry is going to push through this action, form a battle line against their reinforcements. Yeah, there go the dervishes. Pull back these dervishes into the square to draw more of those troops in, get my gunners to retarget their general's bodyguard. They got my melee infantry going to clear out the 31st. No Hindi musketeers. Form square. Oh, you're probably it's because you're getting shot at by your own men. That's why you're unhappy. Sikh musketeers, Hindu warriors, get down here. Bring some cavalry back over just in case. Okay, they've intercepted us. Push forward with the cavalry. One of our dervish units has come back from retreating. Izobashi charge in, war elephants charge in. Gurkhas get involved, these dervishes push up as well. I mean, general has been killed. Charge my melee troops in. Charge on. Elephants too. So we've hit their infantry line here. And here come the Gurkhas, smashing into the flank. Good. You men pivot. You men pivot. Get over here, Lancers. Mali infantry advance. I mean, we've massed and destroyed the 33rd. And the dervishes to attack the tenth. Lancers can also have a go. Melee infantry push. Kizobashi cavalry. Actually, you guys go after the gunners. Ooh, yes, please. They've limbered up. They will die deliciously easily. Fire. Yeah, we'll end the battle there. We don't need to do too much chasing down. The enemy is quite badly bloodied. 400 men remaining, that's a lot. 
So they can they can make their way over to this island because they have this naval force in the port. Yeah, Prussia's continuing their push into formerly Dutch territory. Danish territory, not Dutch. No way. Have they lost? No, they haven't. That's just signifying a border. Cool. I was like, wait a minute, a border? No, it's a border between regions. Persia's going to Persia. Eventually, we will be at war with the Ottomans. We just will. The Dutch are pushing down into Italy. Got an imam in Ceylon. Hey, are we now beating you? No, we aren't. The irony. Go to Sloop. Actually, do we have two here? We do. Get rid of the sloop. This imam can go to the Americas. Ooh, big ships. So let's get a second and two thirds built. Upgrade the T1 house, hop back to the Americas. So let's send this Hindu Musketeer unit to secure the port, to boot them out, demand the surrender of the territory, Weaves Cottage can be destroyed, repair the military governor's barracks, you men replenish, you chaps replenish, we can repair the port, but we do need a navy, a decent one. We can start to make some inroads to that through upgrading this port to commercial basings. That gets us four three eight ships of the line. And then elsewhere, trading port in Mangalore. Oh, right, you were you were the sloop for that. I see. Okay, elsewhere, Is that a new town in Udaipur. Oh no, that's previously a madrasa, wasn't it? Craft workshop it is. Good. No new techs on the horizon. Good, and then we got like, the Arabian Sea, got some fifth rates being built. to bring those fifth rates over to your noun. And they will then leapfrog over to the East Indies. Well, there actually isn't anywhere we can really go in the East Indies. Maybe the coast of Brazil, or maybe the Straits of Madagascar. Portugal, Britain, United you know, Provinces. Okay, first of all, we're going to want to build up this fleet. Well, I mean, it's a pretty hefty fleet as it is. But if I add some heavier ships to it, we can go out and clear out some of those enemy stacks in Madagascar and add ivory to our trade book. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I would like to make peace with the Dutch, but after I take Cuba... I wonder where they're going to ship that army. Hopefully back to Cuba. Yeah, they, they've got Rome. That's for darn sure. God, the Dutch are on a real roll. Yeah, we all needed a good navy. I'll even shift some of those fourth rates over to the Caribbean to help build up that squadron.
T-Warehouse is brothel, commercial basin, T-Warehouse, Subodas Palace, T-Plantation, it's got a couple more mills built, upgrade these farms because they've not been, not any money spent on them for an awfully long time, you upgrade the cotton weavers, warehouse, okay, so what I want to do, what I might want to do instead is take the East Indies looks okay. Fourth. Okay, so let's take you plus you guys. Take fourth rate, the real Mustafa. Ganesh Arella. You men get over to the Americas. Ultimately, if we're going to add second and third rates to this fleet, we don't want fifths. So you guys might go up to Port Bandar. I don't like having fleets that are comp can have ships that are too low level in them. So we can in India. We can take this squadron over to Punda. We can build you to a madrasa because madrasas are cheap. take our army I'm going to take all of them because they will they will be able to get back in time so that's the sugar warehouse taken back why are you not hmm do you not have any movement points to disembark no you do you just can't get to here and it's this turn. That's fine, they can spend a turn, they'll just complain. Once you build the madrasa, that'll help convert. Wonder my imam when it arrives, when he arrives rather, will land at San Jose to help get rid of some of this religious unrest. Cool. They can keep churning out militia troops, that's okay. I'm not bothered about that. What I'm bothered about is we keep churning out economy upgrades and our navy. I mean, I don't like that one bit. We may need to build up a a west coast and an east coast squadron. Just so we've always got some defense of our own coastline. Rights of man have been researched and you want a diamond formation, which is a terrible waste. Go for machine tools. And we want to upgrade string of pattern to a modern university. We want to upgrade the brothel to a pleasure gardens. We might want to build some Hindu musketeers as a garrison. So first, second rate, Arnold Ali will become an Admiral, Admiral Bandaru. So let's get a second and a third. Bleed arrives. This is my Imam. And then my sloop can carry on and garrison Otto Branda. Ridges and Red 7, 1 predicted, because in one turn they've almost converted the entire island. Thousand people. Listen, Islam's great, right? Check it. Good. Awesome. Done. In which case, then this might not even be necessary. Because you're at a thousand as well. We'll convert you in one turn and convert you in one turn and you in one. We're going to do lots of conversion right off the bat. So by the time we need a madrasa, we can build one in a major town. Okay. Good. Workers are on a strike in Curacao. Yeah, until these guys show up. Especially when this guy shows up, because he's actually not bad. 
Plus one to zero once you can convert in India. Uh, okay, it might be better to try and find... If I got an agent that's... That hates being in India. Because that's, that's... It's funny that that's a thing. Oh no, they all seem pretty good. Holy light. Desert Mystic. Okay. Whoop. So once we build our economy up to a certain size, obviously we can start building up our army or re reinvesting in our army. Or to be honest, do I just declare war on the Ottomans in myself anyway? Well, that's pro actually that's probably a bad idea. We should probably continue focusing on expanding in the Americas first before we kick off any major wars on the front. Looks like the Persians are at war with the Ottomans, which is good for us. Ooh, Mo Mameluk Rebellion! Hello, Mamelukes! Ah, is it because we're trading with the Ottomans? And we like the Ottomans? We're allied with, oh, okay, we're allied with the Ottomans, so they really won't like us. Even though in theory they could. Pudi. Uh Trade port, because I don't really want a huge amount of military ports because eventually we'll just stop using them. So I'll try and keep the drum beat like that. So I might not necessarily buy invest every turn, but just something. Two second rates. Fourth rates rather. Do okay, you want to get a steam engine? I'm gonna do got a huge amount of investing to do. Fleet arrives. Great, the sugar warehouse. Do you need better roads? Both do. Let's send the smaller squadron up to Antigua to see what we got. Hello. Is it just a colonial army? It is just a colonial army. Jonathan Edwards and Kevin McDowell. Okay. Yeah, you guys replenish. Group Zamindari pikemen here, that's quite handy. Does it explicit does it very much need to be a military governor's barracks? No, but I'm gonna keep it that way for now. I saw boosting my garrison forces. One more turn to get copper bottoms. 19,000 income next turn. Again, my navy's probably... My navy expansion's kicking it off. It's not Greece that's raiding us. It's pirates somewhere. Hmm. So they got naval hospitals. That, well, they are building first rates. Already they're building first rates. And I'm just about building second rates. The Ottoman's going to go try and take back Baghdad. Well, they've probably... I'm assuming they will. Yeah, cube would be very valuable. It would provide us our own uh, naval ship production capability in the Caribbean without relying on production from India. Copper bottoms, good. You've gone to carronades. No, go for formed naval administration because that gets us. Or maybe even it's lime juice and sauerkraut to get rid of the upkeep costs, or to reduce the upkeep costs. New town emerges, Chanda and Bera. Craft workshop. I do want a military governor's barracks to remain here. Actually, yeah, because I can still produce 
Hindu musketeers, which I can't from some of my major cities, bizarrely. Upgrade you. Upgrade the boarding house to a brothel. Upgrade some of these export driven focuses. Okay. Okay, you guys still replenishing. I'm going to want them to be in top, tip top condition for attack Antigua. I mean, here it's just a bunch of levy. Territory is 100% Muslim, so let's take this sloop. Bloop. Then get the sloop back to here. I'm sure in one turn. Or maybe two turns. The territory will be 100% Islamic. Got a second rate ship of the line built here in Pondicherry. The Saad al Bahir. 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 At the very least, should should a major war kick off, we will have the economy to be able to recruit a lot of troops very quickly. That's kind of that's the sort of investment I want to make. And ultimately, the fact that Prussia and Russia formed one giant alliance, probably with the Dutch, is quite. On one side it's alarming, on the other side it's actually really interesting because it's going to be a fun late game war. I suppose until I get a major recruitment centre in the Caribbean I'm going to have to rely on disaggregated recruitment. So you go for light infantry doctrine. Good. Ship you up to Puri. So I'm not super bothered about upgrading madrasas at the minute. Upgrade, upgrade. Upgrade the roads. I can about 10 grand. Spend three grand on a third rate. Good. 600 remaining, which again, we can't really do much with unless something major happens. But what we can do is take the sloop out. New man. March daughter Brenda. Depart and attack Antigua. Okay, don't your way is blocked for now. Oh, and they're actually I forgot they're not quite so happy. So let's build a couple of levy. Not that it's really needed, but at least I'll have garrison units I can hop about and do stuff with. Okay, let's may as well attack the city. So if we attack the city and we win, we take the region rather than the other way around. Cool, let's do it. Significantly outnumbered, so I may want to sit back, use my artillery to force them close, where we can spring our melee trap and slaughter them. Slaughter them mercilessly. That would be my preference. We've got plenty of cavalry to deal with, so I'm probably that's what part of the reason why I want to be a bit cagey. Definitely don't want to fight in the town. So deploy my guns in the battle line. rather than having them spread out. Okay. 
Good, 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 good. So then, my two seek units. Actually, do I want a unit behind us? Not so many great positions, but this area here is slightly higher. So we've got a Hindu Musketeer unit spare, probably deploying the right flank. Okay, now let's spread out my melee. Oh, is that another? Oh no, it's the same unit. Uh, let's spread out my melee troops. There we go. General's bodyguard in the centre. Cavalry towards one flank, lances on another. War elephants hold to the rear. Get my cavalry out of the way. Quickly! Run! Aim at the light cavalry as the priority. The other units will be dealt with in due course. See, they've aimed straight for my kids, well, actually because they can't form square. And that's why they've now pulled back. Keep my elephants pushing up. Who have I missed all the way over here? You know, you know Seek Warriors. I'm sorry, Seek Warriors. Let's bring you guys into the centre. There we go. They've had to hit my Hindu Musketeer units as the next best option, but I'm afraid this unit is very elite. Okay, you guys start to hit the troops coming in. Not very many flankers coming in to worry about. Colonial Light are charging into the square as well. Or more Colonial Light. Boost canister shot. Blast the 14th. Dervishes can counter charge. You men form up because we've got a Colonial Line unit wanting to get out to mischief. You guys get out of formation, form up. Hindu Musketeers are reloading. It's going to be my field artillery that really helps. Let's get some dervishes on the flank to try and fall upon the 19th regiment. These guys are going to get a bit of a hammering because they're going to have to reload and figure out what they're doing. And but when they do get going, blast the knights. They still do have troops on the left to watch out for. Buccaneers advancing, but they're going to be caught in the crossfire. I, do, I always love this officer's skin model representation whatever whatever it's called we are they're advancing they're probably gonna fire off their pistols first it's always when it rains the sound gets funky yeah pistol shot kill one guy two guys a couple more still firing the cavalry's come back They're interested in my dervishes on the flank, it looks like. New chaps. Blast the seventh with canister shot. Push up. 
get my elephants in first. Then my dervishes can hit them while they have charged. My dervishes, dervishes, they're a bit vulnerable to a cavalry attack, to cavalry attack, but good blast there. Present fire! Oh no, they routed, so your targeting priority shifted. See, these guys haven't had much to shoot at, at all. These are my Sikhs as well. But they will, they will. So much so I'm probably going to do this. Maximise that sweet, sweet firepower. Hey, are there reinforcements coming in from a bad direction? It looks like it might be. They're coming in from behind us. It looks like it, because they've just gone straight into... They've took it. They've taken out some of my war elephants. If they do, I'm going to want my native lancers over here. Ah, they're coming in over here. Okay, right. Get the Hindu warriors over here as well. Kevin McDowell has been pushed back. You're going to just catch the corner of my Hindu musketeers, but are you going to drive home your charge? You are. I'm going to charge my guns, the devils. Nope, you guys hold the line. Get my general over on the right flank as well. My war elephants are in demand, but they're getting picked off. Constant cavalry charges. Where's my Kizilbashi? Get you guys over here as well. keep blasting them. If the enemy insists on coming from this direction we can then redeploy our Enterprise. Our, der our dervishes are not going to be here for very long. You guys are... It's unfortunate that you guys broke. I mean you're probably going to come back. Hindu warriors going to charge the light cavalry in the rear. Pivot this front so like more of them can make use of the, the guns. Seek musketeers, form square, charge the Gurkhas in. Switch to round shot, bombard the eighth. This cavalry unit's going to go after the enemy. Actually, you guys go after the general. Okay, right, let's deploy. Well, cavalry, um, Hindu musketeers came back. So you men fall into the flank of the 19th. We can then take two of these Hindu musketeers and deploy them like so against the enemy. That's one gun team shattered. So now this flank, and the Gurkhas are going to tear these Buccaneers a new one. Push on into the Colonial Light Horse. Seek Musketeers form line. Continue to engage the new enemy. You guys cast a shot. Round shot. That formation there. Unlimber the guns. 
maybe let's push it, bring our line back a little bit, ever so much. So Bashi Cavalry go off the general's bodyguard, Hindu warriors hold the, hold the line here. Let's send my Sikhs up, chase off the rest of the troops, you guys limber up. You guys limber up. Actually, get the guns to try and shuffle in this position here. That's a lot of enemy troops coming in. Form line. Until this position is filled by artillery, my general's bodyguard will take the position. My Gurkhas can make their way back around to here. It's a bit vulnerable having my general's bodyguard up front. But until the guns get into position, we ain't got no choice. Pushing the left. Or Bashi cavalry. Okay, right. You guys don't push up quite so aggressively. Not when you're so relatively alone. Advance. Come on, cavalry. <laughs> Fire as much as you can. Hindu musketeers charge in. Back up the Hindu warrior. Being backed up by Hindu warriors. Sikh warriors are also going to be over here. These Gurkhas, when they get over here, will help out. My lancers go after that last horse artillery team. The guns are going to be become irrelevant now. Bring my elephants over, because we still need to scare some fools. Let's slaughter their enemy, the enemy. Get in there, Sikh warriors. Where's my war elephants? Get in here at speed. You've chased off nearly all of the, the remaining enemy troops. Alliances, get over here. Smash into the 67th. Point blank fire is real. Deploy the elephants, deploy the Gurkhas. You men don't understand what it means to fight the Mysoreans, but you will know. Here come the Gurkhas. Pursue them, drive them from the battlefield, except for the elephants. There we go. 
This reinforcing position has collapsed. Human, make ready and fire at them. Everyone's just charging, pursuing them, not allowing them to escape. Excellent. Kizabashi Cavalry cease fire. You're just shooting your own men in the back. Seeing Musketeers just charge that last remaining unit. Death! You can fire as much as you like. My guys are going to have you. They're encouraged because there's friendly units nearby, but they're just running away. And again, because it started raining, there go the sounds. But they're going to have to withstand my charge. Two units of Sikh Musketeers, they're going to have you. To the fact that there's only, there are less than 150 of them already. And my guys, how many have I got? 500-ish? Huzzah! Ah, oh. <laughs> nice. There's a significant concentration of British power destroyed in one critical battle. So they really don't like us because of religious unrest. That's fine. Uh, won't be long till. These guys get over it. Two. So let's hit end turn. Yeah, so part of the reason why we probably want to have more squadrons of troops in the Caribbean is that the Dutch are probably going to send troops to invade our territories and take them for themselves. Or at least attempt to. I still love that Portuguese invaded Malta. That just doesn't happen. Even though they are my enemy, uh, I still pretty. I think it's pretty awesome that they did that. The Persians on the move. The Portuguese. Well, at least the Portuguese will not be destroyed. They will build their empire in Malta. If they take Madrid, then my God, that would be awesome. That would be so cool. Yes. We're in a, a build phase in our campaign. Trade raided. A war galley in the Santa Rosa. Craft workshop. Upgrade. We'll go to the Subidas Palace and the School of Arts. Pondicherry. Well, now, now we're starting to cook. Let's get another third and a second keep things building but that's not a bad it's not a bad fleet upgrade Mangalore's port then hop over to the Americas because because you're now 100% Islamic so you can hop over begin converting Antigua because yeah they're gonna drop pretty quick nine to one Let's upgrade the road just so I don't forget. Upgrade the craft workshop. Dismantle the dry docks, we don't really need it. Repair the military governor's barracks. And they've already got metal roads. Awesome. So yeah, they didn't provide much income themselves. I mean, they're going to be growing quite nicely. Let's have a look. Our most valuable region. Kamatika is still top. Even though Mysore probably earns us more money. No, it doesn't. I thought, I thought maybe because the tax rate is a little bit higher. But Mysore's growing at 72. Oh, is growing at 87. So that's going to... Nah. Divergence is going to keep getting worse. But it's because they've got access to two ports. 
some good industry, some exports, plus an abundant yield gem shaft that earns ten two grand. Do you have no more towns? Yeah, no villages left. It's because you've got university and we've got a brothel trying to offset the impact of said university. So I probably want to pick up some troops to help garrison it. Because I really don't want any public order problems. Twelve hundred. That'll get me another. That'll get me a sixth rate. Eh, four, five, six. That works. I don't mind having a spread of roughly three. So if I'm building a first rate army, it's got to be first, seconds, and thirds. If it's going to be a second rate army, it's going to be second, thirds, and fourths. Curacao works on strike. Not anymore. Works on strike in the Leeward Islands. They might break something, but it doesn't matter what they break. In terms of tech, nothing immediately is going to pop. Yeah, Bay of Bengal. <laughs> Poor old Ottomans. Oh no, they've taken Baghdad. The Mamluks are dead. So long, that brief empire. I'm, I'm kind of hoping that if the Dutch keep expanding in Europe, because it looks like they've also taken Naples, they may eventually... Well, re more realistically, they will declare war on Spain, because Spain's my ally. But I would love it if they fought the Prussians. We had, like, a superpower in Europe. Just one massive power. They destroyed, they've damaged the barracks. But now they're okay, because they've all realised, hey, this ally guy we've heard so much about, he's pretty awesome. Bopol. Craft workshop. You don't need... Much of those upgrades yet. Upgrade you to a sugar warehouse. Upgrade the port here. Get some more ships. Because then when this fleet's ready, it's going to sail out and smack some people in the Straits of Madagascar. And then I probably want to slowly start siphoning off some of this spare income into military upgrades. At least in Lahore and maybe in Ahmedabad as well. Because yeah, once I've gone to Madagascar and hit... To be honest, both these are, these are quite small amounts, so they could actually have quite low numbers of ships on them. But I'm going to go in there, like, the United Province have a bigger fleet. But if I take one of these points, I can take it. And one of my agents is a thug. Minus one subterfuge. Sab he's not good at sabotaging, but he's good at killing people. And he's darkly charismatic. You probably want to spend some money on replenishing... This army here in Antigua, and also building up the port. So then we can push on to our next objective, Port Royal, Jamaica. Then on to Cuba, then on to the Bahamas. That's just a lovely little trade empire we've got going on. The pirates have been destroyed. So we must take up the mantle of guarantor of the trade lanes. So let's upgrade you. You've already got metal roads, which is excellent. You guys can replenish. Craft workshop, we can upgrade you to a water power cloth mill, and we can upgrade Buddy to a commercial base and right off the bat for 10 grand. 
Awesome. This navy is ready. Keep the crewmen going. Let's not spend too much on stacking up ships for now. Let's get some military upgrade. Not that one, because if we're going to... Let's go. Hold on, who are you? Oh, you're the Persians raiding our stuff. You guys go over there and secure the area. I'm not quite sure where those British troops are going. They're going down here somewhere. They're not ma matching up with them. They're not at war with the Ottomans. They're not going for Nerun. I mean, it might actually be useful to pick up some... Pick up three units of guns. Probably some heavier cavalry. Let's get a unit of Sipahi and get a unit of Hizobashi cavalry. So then you guys are ready. Nothing's really been done. Thirteen colonies might this mm. It's worth a lot of money to 13 colonies, but we're at peace with them. For well, now, not as, we can't earn a huge amount through raiding. But yeah, okay. Next turn we're going to get machine tools, which is going to be which is really going to help us drive down recruitment. And plus a good old bonus to town wealth from all buildings, potentially straight onto steam engine. That would be pretty powerful. Also got our modern university, actually, so you may end up going for the top level physiocracy technologies because they just really, really stack up. And we've got a long way to go in this campaign. So that, you know, bonuses per turn to town wealth will really start to help. Yes, Persia. Yes, you have to watch out for your front with the Ottomans, hopefully. And I know there's, I, I still know there's that British stack there just over the river in one of my mines, but I don't really mind. Ho oh. ho. I don't really mind because it's not a. It's doing nothing to me. I'm just maintaining my extremely solid defensive line. I mean, if they knock out Spain, that'd really help, because that means we'd get first dibs on all their colonies. Tech advance, machine tools. You have gone straight on to steam engine, which is really good, but I want you to start working on free trade doctrines. Free trade doctrine and then classical economics, because, my God, look at all this money. Plus, it gives us the new ports, and global trading companies are exceptionally good, but this just super expensive. Fleet arrives. Hey there, little British ship. Just a fourth rate ship of the line. Blob. Well, we lost three ships in that. That's dumb. Secure the trade zone. Trade re the trade point for this fleet. There you go, you men get over there to trade. This is why we need to keep stacking up ships, because as we lose ships, we will need to replace them. Dry dock. There we go. Construction report. Craft workshop. I always look up look for craft workshops because they're the first level buildings. It's like they're quite cheap to upgrade. Upgrading these guys are four grand a pop. Which isn't quite so great. Let's hop over to the Americas. Still replenishing. Beep, beep, beep. 
then when you're done so you can sail on to Port Royal let's see what they got Ooh, it's going to be another one. Another one like before. In which case then, do I, do I want some backup? Well, I can't get backup from here. <laughs> okay, let's hit end turn. We found that British stack. It's to the south. It's on the, it's on the Persian Gulf. Oh no. Spain's on the downward slope. But there could be rich pickings for us. Sweden's going to Swede. Curious to see how well they do against the Russians and the Prussians, but it looks like, looks like Prussia hasn't actually pushed in yet. That's what I want to do. Quebec is stacking up ships. They really don't want people to cross. What was that? Oh, it's lime juice, wasn't it? Trading port at Guadeloupe. Okay, so you guys get back to India for for support support next time i come through i'm going to smack this dutch fleet here i'm, I'm anticipating they're not going to move because they don't really want to lose their trade okay, got lime juice and sauerkraut so we can upgrade a naval hospital i'd like this one to be a a uh, steam dry dock it does mean five turns when they're done so let's just stack up some ships to be ready till then. So these guys will all be done, then we'll have a first of a naval hospital done, bread with Mangalore to a commercial basin. Okay. Brutus Denim. I think the Persians are probably going to try. Well, Persia at war with Britain. No, they're allied with them. Okay, I was hoping they would see Zahid as a target, but apparently not. You're still on your way up to this force here. Eighteen hundred, get the money spent. The Dutch just got a bit smacked up. It's showing their flag as being their their fleet being at full strength, but that's not true because we know that they Well, when you start raiding or trading, the flag animation doesn't take into account how damaged or not your fleet is. It will show a fresh like a fresh flag symbol, if you like. It's already 13 colonies. You'll get your comeuppance. So yeah, things have been a bit slow in the last couple of episodes, but I think it's... We really want to take, it, take advantage of this opportunity to just upgrade our empire while we don't have to fight for our lives when we can do more fighting in areas where we elect to fight them rather than where we have to. I may even recruit a second army in southern India to go join that first force in the Americas to mass in uh, Jamaica just in case things go wrong. Yeah, you're raiding away. Make port in Calicut.
replenish. You get a Raj's Observatory because that provides some good gains. So this water power cloth mill plus this fella. Suddenly, I'm going to reach a point where all of my territories are just earning a serious amount of cash. Good. Okay. So, we're going to take Hindu Musketeer. Alvin Desai. He can't take any of those Hindu Musketeers, which is unfortunate. But he will take a Sepahi. The Kizobashi Cavalry is a Mandari Horseman. Plus. Can I not get any more Camel Nomads? Ah, got all the ones I can. Three 24 pounders. One Royal Indian Infantry Guards. One Gurkha, because they'll take a long time to get here. A Hindu Warrior. And a pikeman. Let's get this, get this recruitment on the go. I mean, I can just spam out troops here at my. Uh, yeah, no, I can't. But I can spam out troops from some of these other cities and just send them south anyway. But just do a bit of lazy micro for once. I'm fairly sure upgrading this doesn't necessarily inc increase the speed at which it they convert regions. But let's just upgrade them. I'm getting fed up of seeing the signs. When they're upgraded, they're upgraded. That's all there is to it. Yeah, Kabarabad, let's just be good to, you. good to you. Let's make your people the happiest people in the kingdom. Ooh, good. Our agent in the Americas has gained a trait that helps him convert people in the Americas. Ooh, I wonder. Let's take a fourth, right? Drop him off the coast. I mean, he won't do anything, but we can preemptively begin converting Jamaica. Especially as the resistance to foreign occupation here is actually quite high. So we might want to just... Actually, two fangy are cheaper. They're cheaper than regular. Well, they were. I'm sure they were. Hmm. Yeah, we will want some levy to act as a garrison. We might be able to ship some across from here because these guys have not gotten over the fact that we've invaded them. Cool. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Uh, because it looks like we might have an action against the the Dutch. Maybe if this fleet and army decides to do it decides to do anything. Righty. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you've enjoyed. See you everyone.